Hello, church family and friends. It's the day after Palm Sunday. Yesterday, we had a tremendous celebration of Palm Sunday and Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And we celebrated Jesus, Hosanna, the one who came to save us. And the people waved their palms, and we, wherever we might have been, waved our palms. And we celebrated God in Christ Jesus among us. But something happened as Jesus rode down the street that day. Jesus rode down the street and went straight to the temple. The temple, as we read in Mark 11, 15, 16, where he was disappointed. He was discouraged. He saw what was going on and hear these words. Then they came to Jerusalem and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. Jesus went from being a celebrated Messiah to an angry Jesus. And we don't often think about Jesus being angry. And can you imagine the disciples at this point? The disciples, oh, they're riding this emotional high. Jesus is finally getting the recognition that he deserves. People are recognizing who he is and celebrating who he is. And then he goes down the street and he turns over everything in the temple. But Jesus saw that things were being, well, done in dishonest ways. And Jesus did not approve of what was going on as the money changers sold those items that were needed for sacrifice at, at higher prices and people were being, you know, cheated out of their money. And Jesus said no more and he overturned the tables and said for people to get out. Sometimes we don't like to think about an angry Jesus. We don't like to be confronted by an angry Jesus. But when we see an angry Jesus in our lives, we... See a Jesus that, like a loving parent, may be a bit frustrated with us sometimes. Sometimes we, we put on our religion, but we don't live out our faith. Sometimes we, we pretend to be going through the motions of what it's like to be a Christian, and Jesus becomes angry with us, and in no uncertain terms says to you and me, I have so much more to offer you. I have so much more to give you. You know, he becomes frustrated and angry because he loves us. And he wants us to have so much more and we choose to have so little. And sometimes we, we, we choose the route of being in a Christian family as something that's prestigious and seen in the public eye that's something that's necessary. Approach your faith on this first day of Holy Week as something that you don't necessarily do for a claim or, or are trying to uh, benefit from but to seek Jesus, Jesus who loves you and wants to be your Messiah, who wants to be your Savior, who is the one who came to save us. And on this day, I pray that you will be confronted in a very special way by Jesus who says once again to you and to me, I love you and I have all this to offer you. Will you receive it? May God bless you on this first day of Holy Week, and may he keep you in his care. Amen.